Come. I said, me, come, bruv. My yeah. man in 30 seconds against Bradis Prescott, fam. <laughs> they could have came with a boxing glove and took his watch. <laughs> 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 oh my days. Jeez, I'm expressions genetically jacked. I f- fam, I can't even be bothered, blood. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even in the mood. I don't feel like that, blood. I don't even feel like that, blood. Jeez, I'm expressions. One week elated, next week deflated. Still half man, half amazing. Chocolate Superman star in the making. And I'm with my brother from the same mother. Ranceroni Escobar, you know he's Banstradamus. And welcome to the only podcast where you're going to hear banter, you're going to hear sports, and it's oozing sauce. Ban Sports Ooze episode 37, fam. I'm glad you're happy, blood. You know I'm, I'm not happy, but me, fam. Nah, I'm not happy, but I'm just, bruv, I'm here in it. Swear down all week, fam. Telling you, fam. Seven days, blood. Craig David, fam. I've been getting trolled, blood. From the Brighton loss, fam. You know what's mad, mm. yeah? Man are tagging me, yeah, in some uh, Premier League ooh de toilet um, perfume spray, blood. Do you get me? Liverpool, City, United, they all got their trophies at the back, their achievements, their honours. You know the Tottenham ones, blood? The Tottenham ones, blank fam. I'm telling you, no honours like a judgeless courtroom fam. Do you know them way there? No honour. No honour whatsoever fam. I'm fuming, blood. Top of that, the bees, blood. Do you know them way there? Stung by the bees. Macaulay Culkin in my girl fam. It was all about the bees like Jerry Seinfeld fam. I swear down, I'm fuming, blood. These men were all over us. I understand, yeah? Conte loves a five at the back, blood. I understand that's your bread and butter, blood. I do understand that fam. But you get me, that's what you're used to. But you don't give your wife missionary every night, blood. Do you know them way there? There's got to be other tactics, fam. Do you know like that, bro? I'm, I'm fuming. Christian Eriksen, Sony Eriksen. Bruv, corner after corner. More corners than the Franklin Saint, fam. You know what I mean? Marlo Stanfield, Avon Barksdale. Put together, bruv. Do you understand? Absolutely. Uh, gee, I cannot believe it, fam. Over 180 minutes, yeah? What? No shots on target, fam. If Korea are looking at them stats, they're not calling up Son for military service again, blood. Do you know them way there? Honestly, fam, it's absolutely ridiculous, fam. I've had enough, blood. Did you see the game? Bro, I just saw the highlights, innit? And also, I saw bits of um, bits of your watch along, innit, bro? Yeah, and I saw did, there wasn't bro. much going on. Like, I'm not going to lie, but that's... I don't know. That's Conte, bro. That's that's the beast that you have, innit, with Conte. Like, when it works, it's amazing. When it don't work, it's not. But that's why... The Conte thing goes stale, bruv, everywhere he goes. But normally he just wins something in the meantime, innit? But, Blood, I yeah. like Conte, innit? I do. I like mm. Conte, yeah? But I'm telling you this. You see, when he brought on Davison Sanchez when we needed a goal, bruv, I realised that this man's smoking a garlic bread calzone, blood. Do you know them way there? Nah, 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 nah. Swear down. I like the man, but it's five at the back. The man will play five at the back uh, in a charity game. Five at the back against Renford Rejects, blood. Do you know them way there? The man will probably love five so much, he probably married all Spice Girls, blood. All of them, fam. All five of them, fam. It's five, five, five. I swear down, it's, it's frustrating. You see Emerson, yeah? I saw the man, yeah? I saw the man do a pass, a normal pass, yeah? Pass three of our players, yeah? And it went off the field, bruv. He's a mm. Premier League footballer, Rants, blood. That, that Brazilian couldn't even pass win, fam. Mm. I'm telling you, bro. He's not even Brazilian. Them man are from Peru, para. Peru, Peru, para. That's him, fam. The man are from Peru, blood. Man are dead food, fam. And as for Ryan... Oh, bruv. Ryan Sessignon, bruv. Like, you get me, bruv. I can't believe it. For Fulham, yeah? You get me? For Fulham, that guy, you get me? Like, he was sourcing, bruv. Running up and down the wing, blood. For us, blood, we signed Ryan Pistorius, blood. That's pretty much what it is. Bruv, we signed Ryan Pistorius and he literally refuses to beat a man like a nun from Sister Act, blood. Do you know them way there, fam? He refuses. He refuses to go down that line. He refuses to, to um, whip him. But he just refuses, fam. Do you understand? Like, it's just ridiculous, blood. Like, there's one thing 
dropping points. It's one thing, losing, bruv. But no shots on target, blood. What mm. am I watching for? Am I watching this man in shorts running around, fam? Yeah. Yeah, it don't make no sense, innit? It don't make no sense, but... It's happened two games in a row, innit? So it's hard not to criticise the manager. Right. But and you know what pisses me off as well? Look, you have to right? look at the players, though. You know what pisses me off as well, yeah? Man be like, oh, Emerson. Oh, X. Give him time. Give him time. Nah, I know yeah. it's his first thing. Master, give him time. Blood. Listen, from Kyle Walker, we ain't had a decent right back. You know them way there? Mm. Bruv, all I need Emerson to do, yeah, is not make it look like we've got 10 men on the field, blood. Do you understand? To make it look like you're a footballer. What is he? What is he? A fencer or something like that, blood. Mm. The man can't play football, blah, blah. Give him time. How much time does he need? Is he in a, in a coma, fam? Mm. Do you know them way there? <laughs> How much time does he need, blood? No, I'm angry, fam. But this is on Conte as well, blood. You get me? Bringing on Sanchez. What about Lucas Moura, blood? Man brought on Lucas Moura. Bruv, by the time Lucas Moura came on, kissed the grass and did the Jesus sign, they blew the final whistle, blood. Do you know what I mean? He had no time. Do you get me? Bergwin, not a sniff, blood. Do you get me? Not a Merson, fam. Nothing. Do you get me? Matt Conte, this draw is on him, fam. I'm telling you. Even Big Daddy Kulu, bruv. Do you get me? The changes, yeah? I respect all of the players in that, but when it's mm. not working, it's not working, innit? Yeah. There ain't no one big enough in that team that I wouldn't take. I'll take off any player in that team, blood. Yeah. yeah? Any player. Fam, I'll even take off Lloris, fam. And and, and I don't want to see that basketball player in Golgolini. <laughs> but I'll take off Lloris. <laughs> Anyone can get it, fam. Do you know them way there? But you see, Conte, yeah? Like, I understand. This is what I, I believe. I believe, yeah, that he doesn't trust our defence. So he always plays five at the back. But what, I, mm. what you need to realise is, yeah... It doesn't matter how many guys you got back there. If you can't trust them, they won't do the job. Yeah. Do you understand? Trust your forwards. You get me? The bo- the best uh, part of defence is attack, blood. That's what I learned from Pochettino, blood. Trust, trust me. We only got peppered under Poch, yeah? Nearing the end. Do you get me? Poch will go and attack everyone. We'll attack the cities. We'll mm-hmm. attack everyone. Do you understand, yeah? That's how you beat them, as well. 100%, blood. And then now, man's hearing, oh, oh, Antonio Conte's twerking for PSG, blood. Do you know them way there, fam? Man twerking, my, my man, he's had enough, blood. He's fine, had enough of the full English breakfast, blood. He wants a croissant, blood. Do you know them way there? He's not, he wants to be he's lifting his thing on the Eiffel tyre, blood. Do you know what I mean? Unlimited funds. Mm. Uh, Brewster's millions. Do you mm. understand? Like, for me personally, G, I'll tell you this right now, yeah? And I'm going to put it on wax. Any Tottenham fan that just wants to get rid of Conte, like, just like that, just get rid of Conte for Pochettino, for me... Like, obviously, this is my opinion. You get me, fam. But any Tottenham fan that wants to do this, you need to be a bit more ambitious, innit? That's what it is. Me, I'd get rid of Conte for Poch only if I realise that the, the the board, Daniel Levy and that, ain't going to back him, blood. If mm. they're not going to give Conte any money and he needs money, proper money, if we ain't got that money, then he needs to leave. Bring in Pochettino because Pochettino can turn water into wine. But for me, Conte needs to be backed, bro. Do you get me? Daniel Levy, fam, and he ain't going to do it, bro. You get me? This this man's more more um interested in shutting down Chick King, blood, and all of the places around Tottenham, fam. He's more interested in the Tottenham rebuild, bro. Do mm. you get me, fam? Well, Levy, look me in my eyes, bro. The Tottenham rebuild, blood. I don't care how many buildings you put on that high street. OFB are still going to be chefing, man. You know them way there. Big man ting. All of that, bruv. You get me? Still going to be jiggy jiggy on deck, fam. Coops getting spun and all of that, fam. So man need to focus on the trophy cabinet, blood. Do you know them way there, fam? I'm angry, blood. Because we could have lost as well, bruv. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Ivan Tony, fam. Ivan Ooze. Do you know Bola. what I mean? The man hitting the post. Do you understand, Rance, bro? That game, yeah? Nil, nil, you know? Nil, nil. Bruv, I ain't seen a goal in 180 minutes, blood. It's peak, but you know what it is? With Conte, you know what you get in it. That's the one thing I... I've said there's two types of managers. There's managers that want to win games and there's managers that don't want to lose games, innit? And that's why Conte don't change to a four at the back. That's why when people try to get onto our manager, like, I like Ralph because when mm. we were playing against you lot, you yep. made it 2-2 yep. and he put on another striker yep. and took a midfielder off and then we won. Yep. You know, like that. Like, Conte don't do that because he's oh. more worried about losing. Ralph don't care about losing games and that's why he'll win games, innit? Mm. And that's what it is. You have to, you have to speculate to accumulate, innit? And Conte does not does not take risks in it like he's very very pragmatic and he's very cautious very similar to jose mm. so it's one of them ones where if i'm a board similar to jose as well i wouldn't give conte money because conte buys very similar to jose he buys people that fit to just get the job done now in it he doesn't buy for the future that's why i don't think levy had any intentions of having conte long term anyway mm. i think that he's coming 
to just kind of do a job and try and squeeze what's out of Tottenham. Mm. But I don't believe that he was ever going to give him a big amount yeah, of money. Yeah, short term deal. Yeah, anyway, short term yeah. deal. I reckon if Poch becomes available, he takes Poch 100%, back. 100%. 100%. Because Poch will sign younger players and, you know what I mean, Poch will be more of a project thing. Conte's Bro, not a project manager. Bro, all it is is, oh, project, rebuild, da 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 Fam, I swear to to the Lord, yeah, Tottenham Hotspur have to be the only team, yeah, that is rebuilding when we won nothing. <laughs> now, honestly, blad, I'm, I'm just going to chew the fat, blad. Yeah. Teams rebuild when they get to the top of the mountain, fam. You know them way there. You know, they do the climbing there at the top of the flag. Yeah! You get the end of a 10K, blad. Do you know them way there? But you see us, bro. I'm telling you, fam, it's like Ruben started running with his chicken bone in a 10K, blad, doing five minutes, blad, and be like, I've got to rebuild. You know them way there, fam. Fair enough, man telling you, bruv, I've had enough. And you know where my anger's aimed at, yeah, majority? It's the owners, blood. Mm. It's the owners, fam. You get me, blood? These players, a man can't even say, oh, X, mm. one week you're saying, because I'm telling you, I always see the comments here and I just don't even respond yet because man are just chatting rubbish, blood. You get me? Man at home with nothing better to do, blood. Do you know what I mean? I know what I say, fam. Show me a video, blood. Show me a video, yeah, when I said, oh, anything great about Emerson. Yeah, I might say Emerson Royal Tino, give him a nickname, yeah, or something like that. Yeah. But even when even when he scored, I've never said he had a good game, blood. He's had one good game I've seen him for Tottenham, blood. Mm. One in the whole performances that he's had. I know he's dead food, blood. Do you know mm. them way there, bruv? Me, I talk about what I see, fam. You know them way there, bruv? If, if a man plays terrible, I'll talk about it. If a man plays well, I'll talk about it. Yeah, if it seems like, if it seems like flip-flopping, then I'm a Birkenstock, fam. Yeah, that's why I am. I'm an open toe sandal, blood, if that's what flip-flopping is, because I talk about what I see in, 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 like, you get me, on TV, fam. And for me, that wasn't good enough. Fam, the last two games, wasn't good enough, bruv. And especially the last one, bruv. You seen mm. Arsenal win, fam. You seen that, blood. You seen us mm. go out of top four, bro. Do you know what I mean, bruv? Like, and now look, bruv. It's, it's an absolute joke, man. It's an absolute joke. Nil, nil to the bees. They're a good team, I'm not gonna lie. But you get me, fam. We made them look we, we made them look like prime AC Milan fam. Do you mm. get me? Kaka and them, man, blood. Do you understand? It's absolutely ridiculous, blood. But yeah, back to what you were saying, like, you get me. Um, Ralph don't mind losing games, blood. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't, blood, because you man held four, blood. You know what I mean? I'm not even well, gonna three, lie. But was it three? Yeah, three one. Yeah. Oh three. Oh three one. Oh yeah, blood. I'm not even gonna lie. I fought um with Maguire at the defense. Do you know what I'm saying, blood? That like with, with Maguire. I, when I saw the teams, I actually thought with Maguire at defense. You know what? Boom. Let's see. Maybe Man United could do a thing, blood. But you man conceded in like what 30 seconds, blood. You get me, Varane and. What was it? Alex Telles, Alex blood. Telles. It's like them man are on, on LSD or something like that, fam. Had them man dancing like NSYNC, that ball from Xhaka. Didn't you see them, bro? bro? What, Varane, our court man's a hot comb Chris Smalling, bro. Mm. He's so overrated. I've been saying it, yeah. And it's funny, I didn't want him. Mm. And Ma Bear Man got on to me when mm. I said I didn't want Varane, mm. um, when we got linked to Varane. And the facts are, Real Madrid were happy to let this brother run his contract down mm. and then leave, bro. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? And the thing is, Varane's on, I think... 370 or something like that he's on a lot of money but I said straight away yeah you do not leave Real Madrid somewhere where you're winning the league title every year mm. getting into the what semi-finals of the Champions League mm. at bare minimum to go play for Man United who are nowhere near winning anything bro I could tell that he's, he's got no ambition and he came for the money innit mm. that wasn't a move that ever made sense if mm. he was a player that wasn't starting for Real Madrid wasn't playing and he, he wanted you don't want to change from winning mm. that don't make no sense like, I said it already, that's like being in a nice, stable relationship. Everything's going well. And you're like, oh, you know what? I just want some drama. I'm going to leave, blood. <laughs> man, man don't want that. Man don't want that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if everything's going well, you just stay where you are, innit? You know, like that. And the Varane thing just told me straight, yeah? Last contract of his career. He's coming mm. to Man United for the money. End of story. And he knows that his injury record isn't great either, bro. Yeah. He spent more time injured than he has playing for Man United. And when he plays, he's underwhelming, innit? The first goal was his fault. I was at I was at Fury Fest, blood. I was working at the Fury Fest. I didn't even get to see the game. But mm. when I saw that Nuno Tavares had scored, yeah, I knew it had to be in the first 10 minutes because that guy gets subbed off, blood. Ace quick, blood. <laughs> yeah. I knew, minute Tavares scored, you know it's early, mm. blood. Do you know what I mean, fam, blood? It's literally one of them. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And I saw Nuno Tavares. I knew it was early, blood. And yeah, fam, like, from there, I couldn't, like, I was shocked from And then they got a second one. Was it the penalty? Yeah. It was a penalty. You know what it is with Man United, though? You know what? Did, well, now Tellers again, isn't it? No, Tellers, yeah. Tellers gave away the foul on yeah, Saka. Bobby yeah, Bobby Boucher, blood. I, did, you know what I, mean? I didn't even. Nah. I didn't. Water like, boy. I, did, I, don't, I didn't like that. I didn't like that penalty still. Like, everyone's saying that, oh, it's a oh, pen. I like that. And this, that, and the other. But <laughs> for me, it's kind of like, if if I see a defender. You know, you did like it, blood. 
Yeah. The Arsenal fans, man, will like it. If, if I see a player, yeah, not make any <laughs> attempt, yeah, to that's... play the ball, yeah, I just, I don't like how penalties are given like that. And you know what the worst thing yeah, about... Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, the play, yeah, yeah. The, no, obviously, he's made a recovery run. Saka's done the clever thing and ran across him. It was clever. Collision. Do you know what I mean? Does that but all but it was a collision, bro. Like, he didn't make a challenge. And then on top of that, yeah... Mm. The goal was offside, so they gave it they was. brought it back and brought, gave get, the yeah. penalty. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, fuck sake, they tried to do us twice, innit? Mm. But even though we lost the game, I don't think we deserve to lose it. It was one of them weird ones that, like, it was a game of two halves. First half, we weren't really that great. Second half, we are much better than Arsenal, and mm. they scored a goal, mm. like, against the runner play. That Xhaka goal, that Bruno mistake, bruv, the mm. master of the rats, blood, master mm. splinter, yeah. bruv. I hate that guy, bruv. Mm-hmm. He cost us the game, bruv. He missed the penalty, and then he gave away the ball to Xhaka on the edge of the box. We didn't deserve to lose that game. Blood, man uh, missed the penalty and had Ramsdale doing the Roman Reigns Superman punch in his face, bruv. That's a ridiculous Bro, blood. and then he gave that the ball ridiculous. away on the edge of the box, and then even the goal that we conceded, yeah, De Gea, it's not right in the corner. De Gea doesn't save it because flipping and Ketty are standing right in front yeah, of him yeah. and he can't see the ball. Yeah, I saw him, him pop yeah. his head around the corner. And the man's saying he's not interfering with play. How can you be... Yeah, oh, what, was he offside? Of course he was. He was, no, where, I didn't, I didn't he was offside, look, miles oh, off. Oh, is it? Yeah? Lindelof's here and Ketty is here in front of the yeah. goalie, yeah? Man is saying he's not interfering with play. How can you be ahead of the ball that. and... I watched the highlights. How can you I saw be, him there, but I didn't know it was offside. How can you be ahead of the ball and not interfering with play? That is the dumbest rule in football history. If you're in front of the ball, mm. yeah, and the ball's coming towards you, how can you not be interfering? Mm. That's dumb, especially when you're obstructing the vision of the goalkeeper. Mm, mm, so, mm, mm. like, the whole thing, like, it's one of them ones, we never played well enough to win the game, but we definitely didn't deserve to lose the game. Second half, Arsenal weren't good, bro. Apart mm. from that shot um, from Xhaka that they scored from, they didn't have nothing. So mm. it was one of them ones where, like, for me, Man United were poor, Mm. But I was frustrated at the fact that even though Man United were poor, we still done enough to not lose the game, innit? So it was mm. one of them ones where 3 1 flat as Arsenal. Well, that's but we lost the midfield battle, innit? Well, like bro, the pyramid Pirlo El Nenny, bruv. That's what it was. It was the midfield. When you've got bums like McTominay, mm. I think McTominay had something like 37 touches in the whole game, blood. 90 minutes. The guy's a disgrace, mm. bruv. I don't even yeah, know. I saw him. McTominay just looked like some scrambled eggs on that pitch. Bruv. He's like, a guy... bum. He looked dead, bro. You got midfield with like McTominay and Bruno in there, and you expect to have any any sort of um any sort of thing going on, bro. Mm. Like I can't even lie, match done all right. It was one of Ronaldo's better games. Do you know what I mean? And um, but them Arsenal fans and are it, slapping you lot three one in their last home game of the season, and it has to be their last home game of the season because you didn't see Robbie outside doing that suit, blood. Yeah, them man. The, the construction work on that stadium, yeah, bro. Them man, that you're not. You ask me, that's their last home game, blood. Yeah. Big man thing. You lot are gonna have to get planes into the stadium, fam. Because that ramp that I saw him do it on, bro, will never be the same, blood. Mm. Again, you know them way, yeah. death, fam. That pussy, yo, but yeah, man, are getting man, are getting cooked. Understandably, bruv, you know what I mean? Arsenal are back in the top four. Like, you get me? Saka's putting away penalties. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, bruv, they run the, the games that they've got left, bruv. It's in their hands, right back into their hands, yeah. bro. Right back into their hands. Because like I said, we ain't beating Liverpool. No. We're not beating Liverpool. I'm not going to sit here You know and, what, and though? Like, Football's oh, yeah. mad. No, football is mad. I'm going to say, that, I'm going to say that Tottenham, Tottenham take points from Liverpool, no, even if it's a draw. It might be a draw. I'm not going to lie. It might be a draw. And that's the best we can hope for mm. because you get me there. Like I said, like the last time we beat Liverpool, you get me Mick and Susanna, bruv. They were, they were beating in the sauna, <laughs> fam. You get me, blood. Brookside was still live, bruv. You get me Jimmy Corky wasn't looking like a granddad. Do you know what I mean? Jimmy Corky had a six pack, blood, the last time we beat Liverpool, bruv, at Anfield. It's ridiculous, man. Do you understand, bruv? So. Yeah, Arsenal, like top four is in Arsenal's hands now. Do you know what I mean, fam? Obviously, I know, you get me, troops Troops have been at my neck, fam, at my neck. Trust me, you can't wait to film the podcast, blood. I'm telling you, fam, every time he looks at, mm. trust me, he, he's my name's come out of his mouth more than his wife's. Big man thing, you might as well just get another ring and put it on your little finger, the pinky, blood. He's just taking the piss, blood. I'm telling you, every, I've never seen a man at me so much in his life. In his life, blood. That's what they're man Even things for, that got nothing to do mm. with me, blood. The man's watching, man live for man's that, watching the Liverpool game, yeah, and you've got a picture of Klopp doing some Robocop stare, yeah, and he's like, me outside X's yard, blood. Do you know them way there, fam? Man's got a picture with Francis Ngannou, yeah? And I've said, in good company, and it's like, oh, because there's no Tottenham players there, blood. Do you know what I mean? Like, man's hating, fam. 
Your man's hating, blood. No, no, but I this is what they live it. for. If they can finish above you, yeah, mm. and finish in the I'm, top four. Yeah. Because remember, they're not used to either of those things recently. Yeah, bro. So. I don't care anyway. I was chilling with Francis and Garnu, blood, and yet me, bro. Where were you with Francis Jeffers, bro? Shut <laughs> up. Bro. Do you know them way there? Less of that. Less mm. of that, fam. That's Ars- that's Arsenal. Like, this is a trophy for Arsenal. A top yeah. four finish and finishing above Tottenham. It is. It me, is. me. So it gets like that. Me, I want top four. You know what? You know what? Like, it's not even about finishing above Arsenal yet. I just want top four, innit? I want top four for the Champions League football because I enjoy that. You get me, fam? I want to see us up against the best. That's literally why I won it. Obviously, it would be even sweeter to finish above Arsenal, innit? Mm. But, bro, I'm telling you this right now, yeah? Like, I'm done out here. If, if yeah, Chelsea, Arsenal, yeah? Chelsea, Arsenal and West Ham are all playing Champions League football, blood. West Ham won't be. Oh, yeah, if they yes. win the Europa League. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, raw tid. Bro, Man is in cement, fam. Yeah, 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 yeah. man is mad. in cement. It's I'm in a thing. spliff, blood. I'm in a chalice, blood. You get me, fam? I'm in everything, blood. I'm in trouble, blood. I'm, I swear down, fam. Can't have it, bro. Can't have it. Arsenal, Chelsea, and West Ham, fam. Do you understand? It's going to be ridiculous, blood. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous, mm. man. But yeah, yeah, let's move on anyway. Um, or oh, the Merseyside derby, Liverpool beat Everton 2 0, and Liv- they were robbed. Everton were robbed. You get me? That guy that went over should have had a penalty. I saw that. That was a definite penalty. Um, Scousers, you can get onto me because you know me, but I'm fair in it. But I don't. I'm not at Liverpool's net. For me, that was a penalty. And also, Mane, fam. I'm telling you that Senegalese Ric Flair blood. You get me? Be poking out man's eyes, blood. You know what I mean? Ooh, you know them way there poking out man's eyes. Like he he, he put his hands on two man. You get me, Sadio Mane fan, big man thing. Bro, he's got previous as well. Everyone goes. But how you gonna Mane be putting man's a... hand in your man's face? If man did that to Mane, bro, his hairline spray is gone, fam. Bro, Do you know what I mean, he shouldn't even man be go doing on, that. Yeah, like Mane, yeah, it's such a quiet, nice guy, but he's got mm-hmm. previous for these things, you know. Do you know what I mean? Man throws elbows at people. He does these things. Swear he's bro. fasting as well. Yeah, he's. What's going on, Mane, man? You got, you get me, fam. Why no, he does that. Perfect, he's got man, that in him, though. On, he's man. got that in him. He's got that in him, innit? He's got that nasty streak in him. I'm not saying I mm. mind it, but mm. it's funny, like, in football, they always try and paint certain players a certain way, innit? But, bruv, mm. nah, bro, Mane's got that dirty streak, innit? You know nah, what I'm saying? He, he should have been sent off, but he always gets the nice guy thing, the benefit of the doubt from referees. It's jarring. Bruv. It's a few times he should have been sent off I don't off understand, this innit? Like, every, obviously, I want I want Lampard to go down, innit? I'm not. Oh, so I do don't, I. I don't mind Liverpool winning, fam. In fact, I was happy that Liverpool won, innit? It, yeah, but at the same time, when you watch football as a neutral, the robbery fam, you get me, bro. You got Everton fans, you get me, and this isn't me saying it, blood. It's on TikTok, blood. Before you man try to get onto me, but you got Everton fans that are putting their wife into the car, yeah, and saying that we're moving to Ukraine, blood, before we get relegated, fam. No, big man, ting. It's on TikTok, blood. You know them way there, fam. You get me, blood. Said that we're moving there before the releg. They can't even say relegation. What did he say? The the releg relegation, blood. You know what I mean? <laughs> man ain't got no brain cells, blood. It's peak, fam. You get me? So, like, it's peak. It's actually peak. Like, the Merseyside derby, you get me, the Toffees, they're now in the relegation zone, bro. They're there. Yeah, they're staying there, bro. You get me? Everton are now in the relegation zone. When you look at their team, it's absolutely mad, fam. And when you look at you who me? they've got to play, I think they've still got a difficult running still, like, all mm. the way to the end of the season. Calvert-Lewin's going to go from them backless Chanel's, blood, to, boy, he, I don't know, blood. There's He's no relegation to to... close, so Calvert-Lewin will get a move and mm. Everton will lose a lot of money. And if Everton go down... Mm. They're staying down, blood, because I'm mm. not going to lie. The owners will probably nah, just he's sell... going from Chanel to Dune, blood. That's yeah, the, o- the owners will just sell the club, blood. I think. Do you know what I mean? Because why would you keep that football club? Because there's not going to be a relegation clause. A lot of these players think they're too good to be there. Players like Richarlison, players like Calvert-Lewin, etc., will leave. Mm. And then on top of that, you're going to have to pay them out as well. like, Or you're going to have to sell them on the cheap because you can't keep them, bruv. Do you mm. know what I mean? You can't keep players of that calibre in the championship. So Everton are dusted. You know what, yeah? Because Lampard might want to stay, blood. If Lampard right. leaves, Delhi might want to. If stay. Lampard leaves, I don't mind Everton being safe. But while oh, Lampard, do I. while Lampard's there, I feel like yeah, for the universe, Lampard needs a relegation on his CV, in it, because I can't stand him. No, hundred. Do you know what I mean? He, this is the third job that he's got that he doesn't deserve, and I just feel, yep. I just feel like he needs, he needs to get a taste of reality, in it, mm-hmm. relegation. Just like Harry Maguire needed a taste of reality. That guy's been relegated four times, and he's Man United captain, and he plays for England. Do you know what I mean? If you let gravity take his course, he would have been in League Two where he belongs. Do you know what I mean? So it's one of them ones where Frank Lampard needs to get relegated, yeah, for the culture, fam. 
You know, like that. That's what he needs. <laughs> That's what he needs. We need oh. it. Do you know what I'm saying? Not this Uncle Harry calling him favours. Do you know what I mean? Nah, fuck off. Yeah, me. Do you I, know what I, don't, mean? I ain't going to see him outside the stadium chatting to the fans like Wayne Rooney, blood. You get me, man? Like, <laughs> bro, bro, listen, they'll rush him, bro. <laughs> you know them ones. He's a Londoner, bro. If he gets them relegated, they'll beat him up. He'll be like, sorry. They'll I beat came him up. In, try to keep you guys up. Try to steady the ship. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Man, yeah, like Frankfurt, it's all about like, who's got the bollocks and that. Nah, 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 nah. You're not a good manager, innit? That's just all it is. I don't know why you would go from Rafa Benitez to Frank Lampard. Mm-hmm. Bro, I think Lampard might even have played for Benitez. Yeah, Because Benitez managed Chelsea. I don't know if it was after, but bro, mm-hmm. like, wh- how the fuck do you go from that to that? Man went from Ancelotti, yeah? And then that man had Benitez, two mm-hmm. managers that... I've got European pedigree to Frank fucking Lampard. I can't even win a championship player. Bro, it's peak. Everton got such a good team, yeah? And these men are just losing game after mm. game. Do you know what I mean? It's actually wild. Like, when you actually look at the the, the table, fam, like, I can't believe it, fam. Do you know what I mean? Like, them lot are pointing Frank Lampard. Come on. What, what's Frank Lampard going to do, bro? Like, honestly, bro, it was, it was one of them, like, I don't know. It was like, was it one to just keep the fans happy because of their name? No, yeah, like the that? fans did. Oh, to be fair to the Everton fans, yeah, they were asking for Lampard, bro. Why? But because he, I don't know, because he's English and that, and I guess, I don't know, it must have been nostalgia in it from all them deflected shots that he scored in his <laughs> career, bro. I don't really I'm know. I'm telling you, brother, unless my man was playing CM, blood, you know what I mean? It makes no sense, yeah, why they want him, fam. Mm. You know them way there, like Lampard... It doesn't make no sense to me, fam. You get me, brother? Now look at them, bruv. Them men are fighting for their lives, bro. It's that legend tax, isn't it? Frank mm. Lampard, Steven Gerrard. Mm. Just legend tax, bro. These guys are not these guys are not of that level, man. Do you know what I mean? They're no. not they're, they're, they don't they ain't got the IQ to be managers. That's just how it is. So like they're both struggling and honestly, I don't mind it. No, Can't yeah, even yeah. know. Let's move on. Um Chelsea beat West Ham 1-0, blood. And there's another one of them um, slow motion um, strobe lightning penalties, fam. Jorginho, he fluffed it, bloody. He fluffed it, fam. Rory Bartholomew Jennings, he, he went straight to Twitter and he was like, I don't want to see that man play in a Chelsea shirt ever again. He's a nap. But you know what, bruv? Let me not even, let me not take the piss, but let, let me actually not paraphrase, read the tweet. Read the let me, tweet. Yeah, yeah, let me not paraphrase. Let me, do, let me not do no allegedly, blood. And you better not have deleted it as well. Let me, let me, where is it, blood? This guy, blood. Where is it? Oh, right. Fucking idiot. Should never play for the club again. Look, Rory Bartholomew Jennings, fam. Bro, 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 bro. This was the same guy, yeah, that was, was sucking off your Jorginho, blood, when he won the Ballon d'Or, blood. Oh, yes, he deserves it. This, that, and you have all the feet on this man. I'm telling you, you would think that Rory had a foot fetish the amount that he was talking about the man's feet, blood. You know what I mean? No, but you know what this, it that, is, yeah, other. with football fans. And that's why mm. I say they're so reactionary. And on mm. top of that, you see with Jorginho's penalty, mm. that style of penalty, so many of, the, do, so bro, many of them. I've seen Rory celebrate so many of them penalties, yeah, and the man was like, fucking. The amount of penalties. <laughs> he didn't even say fiddlesticks. He said, fucking. You know what I mean, bruv? He didn't say, oh, crud. The oh, amount of me. penalties you know I mean? that this guy has scored to win Chelsea games, you know? Yeah. But the thing is, because of his style, yeah, when it works, people love it. When it doesn't work, they're always going to criticise it. Mm. At the end of the day, it's high risk, mm. high reward. But you it? know what it is? Mm. The thing is with Jorginho is he isn't proper Chelsea. He isn't. <laughs> like when he, We came up with guys like Frank Lampard, uh, Dennis Wise. Dennis Wise, uh, man. Come on, give me some more. John Terry. John man. Terry, uh, give me some more. Bro, there's too many, bro. Tour. No, Rory's ones, though. Oh, Rory's. Oh, the Only English Rory's lads. Oh, <laughs> Graham Lasso and Graham that. Graham Lasso. You he know, does. like that, bruv. What other English players did they have? They didn't have that many, to be fair. <laughs> That's why they won stuff, to be fair. Do you know what I'm saying? They didn't really have that many. Gary Kane proper Kane Chelsea. Whatever. Yeah, but mm. nah. That's yeah, just nah, 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 nah. Not, yeah, but yeah, nah, nah. Rory's got his favourites in it. Like, you get me, like, Gianluca Viala, Z- Zola. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's got his favourites, blood. He has, he has. He's got his favourites, man. But we all do, bro. But yeah, nah, it's one of them ones where they got the goal in the end, bruv. Captain America, bruv. Steve Rogers, blood. You know what I mean? Like, every time Pulisic scores, yeah, I'm telling you, it gives the Americans a reason to drink, an excuse to drink. You know what I mean? Not that they need one. But I'm telling you, fam, like, even in Barstool, yeah, they make out that put, fam. Pulisic they is their David the, Beckham. Yeah, he, he is, though. Yeah. He is, though. He is. That's he's exactly what he is. Beckham. They're saying he's a LeBron, LeBron James LeBron, of soccer. LeBron James of soccer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, my God. Christian Pulisic. You know them way there, nah, bro. He's a good don't player, though. Like, like they him. don't know what a Christian is in religion, blood, but they know his name, fam. That's what's man. Like, I'm telling you, bro. Oh, my God. Christian Pulisic. Like, I can't wait, fam, till England play um, USA 
in the World Cup, blood. Get me. Hope we put them in a the chalice, fam. I'm gonna make sure. I'm, <laughs> yeah. in, nah, fam, I'm gonna make sure I'm in America as well, bruv. Dancing on their grave, blood. Do you yeah. know what I mean? In a white suit. Blood. Yeah, gotta be in America for that game. No, hundred percent, bruv. Gotta be in America. I'm for telling that you, fam. I'm gonna be there, bruv. But uh, yeah, man. Um, Chelsea ended up winning one nil. West Ham. They're just focusing on the Europa League, to be honest. And so they I'm should. Saying. Yeah, so they should. But now these dickheads, Craig Dawson, on when and got sent off, or Paulson, whatever is no, that's the, the dickhead referee. Paulson's the referee. Yeah. I hate Paulson, bruv. I watched them give him. That well at a um, referee for the North London Derby. Watch every every ref I hate, they going to put in thing for the North London Derby. I'm telling you, bro. Is it at Arsenal this derby or at yours? It's at our ground, bro. Oh, I yeah. hate Porson so much, bro. I was playing WWE 2K the other day and I tried to download him in Community Creations, bro. Just to fuck him up. <laughs> now a big man thing, Inferno match, blood. Put him for a table, blood. Dave, I'm no lie. I searched for Craig Porson. I'm not lying, fam. I'm telling you, bro. I was playing it last night, fam. Hate that guy, blood. But yeah, nah, it's one of them ones where um, what was I talking about, blood? Yeah, right, the, right, the derby, isn't it? Yeah, the derby. Um, bro, I'm looking forward to that anyway, bro. But move on. Let's just move on to the next game, blood. Man City. Uh, Man City five, Watford nil, bro, blood. Bro. Gabriel, bro. Man, are we calling him Jesus or are we calling him the Lord? The notorious L O R D fan. Yeah, Arsenal Anthony fans were going mad in my comments because obviously they're linked to Jesus and obviously they just beat us and then Je- yeah. they were like Jesus is twerking for Arsenal, bagged four. Yeah, but Rodri scored an absolute chicken zinger, mm. bro. He scored one of the goals of the season as well. Gabriel Jesus was on smoke, mm. and Rodri scored an absolute goal of the goal of the season contender. Absolute mm. zinger! But City ran riot like they always do. One thing about Man City is they make shit that teams they, look really shit. So what? They're gonna sign Jesus? Arsenal apparently, yeah, because obviously Adu's Brazilian. They got the little already kind of pattern. They're gonna have two Gabriels, blood. They just call oh yeah, one they Gabriel. are, and they're both Brazilian as well. Yeah, one could be called Gabriel Sharpie, blood. You know them way there, and one could just be called Gabriel because boy, we you seen that, blood? You get me? The greatest comeback ever, fam. Oh yeah, big man thing. The greatest comeback in his story, blood. You know them way there, fam. Mm. All looking like tarmac and that, fam. Like it's man. No, a big man. Yeah, too. I don't know where he went to get that, bro. Fam. You know what I mean? But that wasn't on the sharp- menu at, in Turkey. G, blood. he got a Sharpie deal, blood. That's what he got, fam. He mm. got a Sharpie deal, blood. That's literally what he got, man. But but no, Jesus with four, bro. I don't know the last player to score four goals in the Premier League. No, nah, I'm like, You lot, let us know in the um in the comments. Who was the last player in the Premier League to score four goals mm. in a game? Because I can't remember, but... Could be Aguero. Aguero. Wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me either. Aguero's yeah. done that before. He must have. Yeah, but that's City, City, unbelievable. Man. City slap man up, blood. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But yeah, Watford are definitely going down. For me, it's Watford, Norwich, and it's either Burnley or Everton. But I don't know who. Leeds are still in, in danger, though, to be fair. I'm thinking well, Burnley, still there. But didn't Burnley win? I swear they won. They did, but at the same time, um, you get yeah, me. They're so they're still not in there. the relegation zone at the moment, are no, they? No, they're not in the zone. But, but they're, they're hovering, they're, they're hovering around they're there. They're hovering, blood. You get me, fam. Mean? They got 31 points with 33 games. But they're, Everton got a game in hand on Burnley. And and how many points? 29 Burnley, points, Everton, 31 Burnley. And Everton Ooh, so if Everton win their game in hand, they go one point ahead. Yeah, and, and, and Leeds are on 33 points. You get me? And Leeds, but Leeds have got a game in hand as well. You get me? Seen. So, yeah, it's one of them ones, bro. So, like, it's definitely hotting up, man. It's definitely hotting up at the end of the table, bro. We'll see who gets relegated, fam. But yeah. um, next game was, boy, 3-0 Newcastle, blood. Norwich, they're definitely going down, blood. Do you know what I mean? Newcastle ain't playing any games. Uh, Eddie bro, Howe, they're like fam. ninth or something Eddie Howe, now, you like. mean. Yeah, blood. Bro, they was Eddie in a Howe, relegation mean, zone. Fam. I'm telling you, brother, Eddie Howe, yeah? You get me? Man thought that he came to steady the ship and he'll get sacked. And when they bring in, like, a mm. new top name, this, that, and the other, the man's come in and he's done bits. You get me, fam? Man were getting trolled when they were announcing Got Wood and all of these things and that. But look at the signings that he's made. Do you know what I mean? The Gil Mares going to Newcastle. Do you know what I'm saying, fam? Whether or not it's about the money or whatever, yeah? You get me? The man's signed the players and they're performing. But he has, it's not like he signed... Mm. Amazing players. You, you know what? The thing I rate the most about this manager is yeah, mm. when he left Bournemouth, yeah, this player could have been going on that managerial merry-go-round like all the rest of these dossers, bruv. Now, um, mm-hmm. what's his name's at Burnley now? The old Sheffield United manager. um, The old guy. What's his name? I can't even remember his name now. Oh, is that who, who Burnley signed? Yeah. The Sheffield United what? manager. Chris Wilder? That's the one. Do you know what I'm saying? So Wilder's at Burnley now. It's yeah. the managerial merry-go-round. Listen, mm. my man left Bournemouth and said, cool, I'm just going right, to wait for the right opportunity to mm. come around. He weren't whoring himself out to football clubs and that. 
carried on probably studying the game because he's he's a student of the game. He studied, studies his craft. He's a proper coach. He's coming at Newcastle. Man are thinking that he's going to go in there to, to be a championship manager. Mm. And he's just, just mashing people up, bro. Man's mm. ninth in the league. He took them over and the man thought they were going to get relegated. Now they're ninth. Mm-hmm. Comfortably in the top half of the table, and they're going to finish in the top half at the end of the season. Mm. Ridiculous job. I'm hearing Nuno could go to Everton. But... Oh, but wasn't he there before though? No, I think he was linked with them. Oh yes, he was linked with Nuno them, and then he went to you lot instead, didn't he? Yeah, blood. Oh you know my I mean? days, brother. He needs to go blood. Everton because he needs to save them, bro. Everton are going down. Mm. I said that Lampard wouldn't see the end of April. No, actually, no. I think I said he would get sacked by Easter and then he didn't. And then I said he definitely wouldn't see the end of April. And, bro, it's the end of April now. So, they might have got a week to sack Lampard. Mm. You know, like that. So, But, yeah, no. Nah, um, I'm not even going to lie, blood. We're just going to run through the rest of these results, blood. Because I've got other things I want to chat about, blood. Mm. Leicester, Aston Villa, nil-nil. You know them way there. Brighton, Southampton, two to what a free kick by James Ward Prowse. Did you see it, blood? I'm tired this of this guy, guy you know. Else, blood. He's something else, blood. Tired of him. He's something else, bruv. Man, need to put respect on his name. So Burnley good. win against Wolves 1-0. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, that was it for the football. But bro, um, a couple things. You see Mendy Meals, blood. You know them way there, blood. Mendy Meals. Mendy's out handing out food to school kids and that, blood. Do you know what I mean? Before his trial. No, I didn't you see didn't that. You didn't see that? No. Benjamin Mendy fam handing out, bruv, man, Sainsbury's had a trolley full of, of like all like chocolates and this, that, and the other. And he's just outside schools. I don't know who, what PR team told him to do that. He's just outside whatever handing out food to kids, blood. Do you know what I mean? That guy ain't got a DB, clean DBS check with the charges that he's got, blood. So <laughs> I want to know what's going on, fam. Do you know them way there, bruv? Is oh, this no. what you... You got certain... Nah, free the man them, blood. Big man ting. You got some of the man... The free mings, blood. You got some of the man them on the wing and that, yeah? They ain't done nothing. You got my man out here doing that, blood. Nah, free the man them all the... All, all, nah, free the man them. Dave, I'm going to I'm gonna end you, bruv. Can I pour this on the floor, Dave, blood? Yeah, I'm doing it anyway. Free the man them, blood. Do you know what I'm saying, bruv? Bro, like, I'm going to be real, yeah? These these guys, nothing they do surprises me. These, mm. these man, these man are just... It's all their PR team. Do you know what I mean? Mm. These bullshit tweets, these bullshit Yeah, but Instagram you know what the posts. R in PR stands for, blood, in his case? Yeah. And then and you know what the P stands for as well, yeah. blood? In fact, do you know what PR stands for when it comes to Benjamin Mendy? What is he doing out there, fam? You know them way there, fam? Oh, no. Or maybe, maybe like, as part of his bail, he might have, like, community service or Gee, something. that's not community do. service, blood. That I is a community know. crime. You get me? Him yeah. being out there. That's not service, fam. Do you mm. get me, bruv? That's that's I a, hear that. an injustice. I, I hear that, but what he's on trial for ain't got nothing to do with kids, in it? So maybe that's why he's allowed to do it. I don't really know. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but maybe it's community service or something, and that's just a loophole, and he thought, you know what, I can make myself look good while I'm out here, because, yeah, they don't just let people out without no conditions, in it? So bruv, I don't, I, I don't I know, really it's know. It's a circle of life. Where do kids come from? I know, bruv. Yep, and that's what he's doing. Yeah, get me? Get me certain women couldn't have kids if he's treated the way that he's treating them, blood. Less of that, bro. I'm not I'm not making no excuses, fam. Yeah. Get me, bun him, fam. Bun him. There's no way. And the reason why I will bun him and I'll say it straight now without even going to court. Because gee, I can understand, yeah. Um, you getting what the hell's going on, fam? Hey, nah, what's going on, bro? Am I in Barstool Sports, blood? Am I back? Nah, what's going on, fam? Me and man love to be doing all these work and all of that, fam. It's like the AC. El Fedro, El Fedro. Stop that noise, bruv. Yeah, it's off now. It's the, the AC just El Fedro. Man, I'm trying to record down here, blood. It's gone oh, now. It's gone bro. off now, yeah. The AC it's came gone, on. It wasn't AC, fam. It was the man doing work up there, blood. Yeah, yeah, oh, was it Are you still general? recording, Dave? Yeah, it's still recording. All right, cool, blood. Keep this all in, by the way, fam. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, fam? Um, What was we saying? Yeah, you said the reason why that you ain't going to let it slide. Yeah, the reason why I'm not going to let it slide, yeah, is because it's bare women, you know, blood. Yeah, if it fam, was one one woman, Floyd Mayweather cool. couldn't count that high. The amount yeah. of counts he's got. Do you know what I mean, fam? He'd be like one, two. You know, like smoke is counting the money. Well, hundred, two hundred, three hundred turns it over. <laughs> I'm telling you, blood. It's a mad thing, fam. Man, yeah, there's too many cases, bro. Yeah, yeah, more cases, bro. Than Etro. You know what I mean? JFK, blood. You know what I'm saying? Stansted, Gatwick, all of them, fam. Hella cases, blood. And in other news, um, obviously we'll end on the Fury White fight, um. Fortunately, Amir Khan's got got his watch pop blood in Leighton, fam. Did you hear that? Yeah, it's peak, fam. he got you know, attacked. You know what's mad, yeah? Like this is like this is it, isn't it? Like so, obviously, I'm not gonna run like Amir Khan or nothing. It's serious. I talk about it seriously. 
One, I don't know what he was doing in Leighton, innit, fam? Let's be they serious. They said it was some 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 IFTA event, apparently. Oh, IFTA event. I thought That's why I think someone set him up. That's what I'm thinking. Someone saw the brand. This is what you got to be careful of. You see, like, when you go to events and you go into places, like, I'm telling you, like, even me, I've gone into, like, clubs and that, and a, a bouncer will look at my watch and be like, oh, what is that? Duh, 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 duh. Bro, all he's got to do is message his brethren and, and be like, yo, yo so-and-so's yeah, in here. X is in duh, here duh, with duh, a duh. boom, boom, yeah, boom. Yeah, fam. That's why I don't wear my things all, all wear everywhere. Like, I know. Mm. I'll be smart with it. Do you understand, yeah? Like, Amir Khan blatantly got set up. You saw him get out. I don't know if it was an Uber he was getting into or whatever. Do you know what I'm saying, fam? The man, obviously, we didn't see the gun, but he's saying that the man ran out, put a gun in his face and took his watch. Bro, listen, man's in Leighton, yeah? You're wearing a $70,000 Richard Milley, bro. Listen, with $70,000, the man that stole his watch could buy both their yards. Mm. Do you know them way there with 70000 you know what I mean? Seventy thousand pounds, sorry, seventy thousand pound. You can buy, but bruv, that man could could buy both their yards. You know, that man living in council flats, blood. Do you not? Do you understand? You get me? So it's one of them ones where like it's it's peak, fam. It's peak. But I don't know what he was doing late. And his blatantly looked like a setup. His girl, fortunately, his girl was further behind him. Mm. You get me? Rumor has it she was she was um on the phone to Anthony Joshua, but I don't know. Yeah, but why was she far behind him? Who walks with a girl she behind? Was messaging him? AJ, fam. You get me? AJ boxing, blood. You know, what I mean? <laughs> he <laughs> came out and said that, blood. The amount of people that ask him the question, he wish he did it, fam. Yeah. You know what I mean? At least he would have got a beat out of it, blood. Mm. You get me? That's I know the whole is. thing's weird, isn't it? But like I've said a million times, yeah. If you're of that high profile and you want to walk around with with stuff that was worth that much money, yeah. You need to have security. Hundred percent. You can't be walking around with a seventy k watch no with no security. The only bro. way I'm buying that listen, don't make no I'm sense, telling you, you bro. Write this now on camera. Yeah? The only time you're gonna see me buy a Richard Milley, yeah, is if you see Omos here, blood, as my security, blood. Big man ting in it. Big man ting. I don't need seventy grand on my on my wrist, yeah, unless someone's willing to take someone's life for it because they're gonna try and take <laughs> mine. Do you understand? Try to take your I arm, will pay, blood. I will pay someone. I will pay. A uh, hitman, you get me? I'll suit, brother. I'd have 70k on the hitman before it's on my wrist. Do you understand? It's not happening. It's just not happening, bruv. Like, man don't live that sort of life, blood. You get me? So, I'm not saying that it's his fault, but, bro, you get me? Man don't go to late and like Yeah, that. 100%. Me? We're not... That one thing man's not doing is victim blaming, yeah? Because no you way. should be able to wear whatever you want, Thank yeah? Thank you, 100%. On the road. However... We don't live in an ideal world and we don't live in an ideal mm -hmm. society, bruv, and it's latent, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not like man was at Buckingham Palace. Do you know what I'm saying? 100%. Man's in latent, fam. That's it. You know, like that. So it's just like, you got to read You got to read the room, read the situation. It just mm -hmm. shows that, like, it was avoidable, innit? It was mm -hmm. very avoidable. Like, 70k on the wrist in an area like that. Mm. Crazy. He came out, and, and the wickedest thing is he went straight to Twitter, blood. He went straight to Twitter to tweet it, and then he made a video. It was like, oh, it feels crazy. Not having a watch on, you know what I mean? Yeah, I wonder, he's probably he got, got Jack. He's probably got loads of watches at home anyway. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, Amanda would have done the conspiracy thing and say it was an insurance scam. You know that, what I'm, like, I could be, blood. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get me gap insurance and that. I <laughs> 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 said gap insurance. I said insurance. You know what I mean? It could be, blood. Like, man pulled a burner on him. And Let's what I it, found bro, was weird. Man don't him up, bro. You know he must have lost a bit of money. Maybe he wanted to sell that. He had to sell the watch. He, he made a That's lot of money. Yeah! No, no, no. no, no maybe. No, no. Some, bro. Come on. He made a lot of money in that fight, innit? And also, yeah. Gee, I didn't see no one on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. I got me a can't watch. Bro, when CBiz got, got the thing, bro, you saw man or dab. I know, I know, mean? I know, I know. If nobody comes out in the next week and says they got a me a No watch, one's come out, blood. Then he might have paid someone to jack him. Because you know you know what's mad, yeah? It's like. Man don't walk around with it's burners in London. It's a Jussie Small Ye, blood. You know them way there. It's a Small Ye, blood. You know them way there from now it was, blood. You get me, man hired two Nigerians like Jussie Small Ye, blood. You know them way there, fam. Bro, you know what's mad? In London, man don't walk around with burners. If, mm. so, if someone pulled out but machetes on him, it's more realistic. Yeah. Man do not leave their house with burners in London just in case. Man only leave their house with Bro. burners if they're going to use them. The man could have so, pulled out an iPhone and uh, Mirkan would have <laughs> thought it was a burner. Like, let's be serious. But this is it? what I'm saying. I mean, it's not like them man... Them man uh, Jack Dillian White or Tyson Fury man that I actually it's know Amir Khan. Man. It's Amir Khan, bruv. My yeah. man in 30 seconds against Bradus Prescott, fam. <laughs> they could have came with a boxing glove and took his watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my days. It's, it's true, bro. Blood. Oh my god. Tell you, days. you don't see that happen to Iron Mike. Iron Mike's punching man up on the plane, fam. Yeah, no, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, man, Iron Mike can have a photo. I give you the photo, now. Just leave me alone. You know them <laughs> way there, man. He punched man up, bro. That fam, he put mad. hat from Iron he Mike put put hands blood. on him, blood. Do you know what I mean? Big up Mike Tyson, fam. Mm. Do you know what I mean, bro? I should have filmed one for my news and source. Iron Mike put hands on him, blood. Man, leave me alone. I gave you a photo. <laughs> Stop hitting me. Stop asking me stupid shit. Nah, he put pause you know all I mean? over, man, bro. Fam, fam.
fam, my man punched him up. Bruv, minute man, you don't want it with, with Tyson, fam. Yeah. After I saw what he did to Ip Man and Ip Man 3, blood, and you get me, Donnie Yen's my guy, blood. Do you know what I mean, bruv? Trust me, fam. No, but the way Tyson, Tyson punched man up was mad. I'm trying to sit here and enjoy my fly, and this asshole, he, he keeps kicking my seat, asking me for autograph and stupid shit like that. You know what I mean? Man, just stop punching man up, blood. I'm telling you, bruv. Big up Iron Mike, fam. Do you know what I mean? That's my guy, blood. Yeah, but that's how you deal with people. And the thing is, Mike Tyson is a quiet guy, bro. So mm. for him to get to the point that he's punching man up, you know that the guy deserved <laughs> it. Wouldn't stop as well. Bruv, I didn't he see one stop. comment, yeah, nope. that was saying, oh, he shouldn't have done it. Because you could see the bear was winding him up. You see the audio, though, on the video that I heard, yeah? Like, mm. I heard some racist stuff. And I don't know but who yeah, was saying. Yeah, but that's what it would have... Yeah, yeah, it was him, the guy, the and guy his friend and that his was brethren, filming it, yeah. yeah. The guy was filming his brethren, in it, and the, the brethren that was filming it was said, said the, the racist, racist stuff, thing. And yeah. then his brethren got And then his brethren yeah. was like taunting him as well. And yeah. obviously, he punched up the brethren, in it, just to set an example, in it. It's mm. one of them ones. I don't know if he punched up the cameraman as well. I That'd saw a couple a comments, yeah. And obviously, and I'm not even saying this to be big headed, yeah, but I'm just going to say it, in it, because it even happened when Giroud was there as well, in it, yeah. Anyone, see, like celebrities or whatever, anyone that gets caught on like a, what are they called? Um, the normal flights, it ain't first class. Economy or flights. Economy flights and that. What you man need to realise is, yeah, and you probably don't realise because you've probably never been on a first class life f- flight in your life, innit? You know the people that are trolling, not you lot, the people that are trolling in that video, yeah? You get me for no matter how much money you got, blood, the flight, yeah, obviously, I know that there's this, it's just different on a flight, yeah, but, bruv, me personally, I'm not, I'm not paying first class. I got the money to pay first class this that and the other, but I would rather save that additional six, seven hundred pound, bruv, and buy me a pair of trainers or whatever, bruv. I'm being serious. I'm being serious. That's just me. That's just me. When I saw the difference in price and I realized what I was getting, bruv, and we're going to the same place, blood. We're on the place. It's not like I'm getting there faster. Do you know what I mean? We're on the same place and I'll probably fall asleep and spend half the time sleeping anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm not even enjoying all of this. It makes no sense. Me, I make sure I'm on a flight with no kids next to me and no man smelling. That's first class to me, blood. Do you know them way there? So any man that gets that, any celebrity or whatever for being like Giroud or Tata, what's he doing on that flight? What's he doing? Whatever, whatever. Gee, the only way I'm flying non like that is if I got a private jet. Yeah, 100%. I'm not giving British man Airways my first, first, that first class. Bit. I'm not doing it. Don't get me wrong. Dave Portnoy can pay for it, blood. In fact, Dave, blood, you need to be paying that, blood. If I'm supposed to be coming back to May 7th, even that, forget about all I was saying. The up business, to I want to fly at least business. Class, baby, business class. Do you know what I mean, fam? You get me, bruv? Man spending 50k on bets, blood, weekly, bruv. Put me on a first class flight, blood. You know what I'm saying, bro? Big no, man. but I hear that, but you know what it is, yeah? If they, how they want to spend their money is different and they're different personalities, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, like, do you know what I mean? When I see Mike Tyson, like, I fully understand him. He's got that kind of personality where he's bare, mm. he's bare introverted, he's very yeah. quiet and stuff like that. But if you press the wrong buttons, yeah, bruv, you'll get receipts, innit? And yeah. he don't spend his money on that. If you look at Mike Tyson, mm-hmm. like, now, you look at how Mike Tyson lives. Mike Tyson ain't got no big watch, no things. Mm. Like, even when he was heavyweight champion. He's like, still got that tiger. He had the tiger mm. because that's what he likes. Yeah. You know what I mean? He spends money on what he likes, innit? Even mm. the house, when he mm. went, like, he lost his house, innit? Remember, because, um, and then 50 Cent bought his house oh, because he went through all that shit mm. with the divorce. But then after that, Mike Tyson's changed. He's a different guy. That he's guy very, from Boomerang down yeah. in Dirty Fam. He's very understated now and that's how he lives, innit? So Mike Tyson's got the money. Like, bro, like, even his podcast does mad numbers. Like, Mike Tyson makes bread, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? He's still a millionaire, but that doesn't mean that he can't fly economy. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? And I don't even... And them seats didn't look like normal economy seats anyway. When I saw it, it looked no, like... I he, saw the comments. In yeah, the he, was on, he was on a decent flight anyway. Do you know what I mean? And depending who you're flying with, like, economy's calm. Like, I've flown, flown with Emirates and that. When you're flying economy in Emirates, it's nice, bruv. You know, you know what I mean? So, it's Gee? like, bro... As like, long as I'm not on a flipping Ryanair flight, blood, but then that's I'm it. good. But there I'm you go. Good. I'm never going on man Ryanair going on like he was on a, on a Ryanair. That was the worst flight ever, bruv. Man didn't even have a seat. I was standing up, holding the thing like I was on a bus. You know, them but that's what they are. Flag. They're called airbuses, them little things. Brother, it's some joke thing, blood. It was like that that flipping plane with tape, blood, when we had to fly from <laughs> Grenada to Carrick. The, the Liat, yeah. The Liat, blood. Yeah, bruv, I'm telling you, fam. That's 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 a myth, bruv. But no, nah, bruv, disrespect Mike Tyson at your peril, fam. Exactly. You know, like that. And this is what it is, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, what I man, won't man stand for. for any disrespect. <laughs> the baddest man I won't on the planet. I'm stand for any disrespect. I'm the baddest man on the planet. You get me? I love Tyson. You get me, fam. Tyson, that's no disrespect, fam. You know them way there, blood. I'm not on a <laughs> big man thing, but I got enough man coming after me anyway, blood. I'm telling you, fam. But yeah, man. 
This is the part of the episode where we get to our Oozing Sorcery Award and our wild... Actually, now, nah, fam, Tyson. Hey, Fury and Dylan White, fam. And Fury retired Gee. after the fight as well. Well, he says he's retired, but he's probably he's probably going to do the, the Nganu exhibition. Yeah, but that you can do that retired, though. Yeah, but he can... Who knows, bruv? Like, you can he, do that retired. Me, Fury, don't retired. Need to, Fury don't need to fight AJ. AJ's lost to Usyk. You know what I mean? I don't see AJ beating Fury. I'm being serious. If White ain't beating Fury, AJ ain't beating Fury. I'm not saying that Dylan White would have beat AJ, but for me, yeah, there's no mad difference in levels from from Dylan White to AJ for me. I think Tyson Fury is the best. I generally think that, and it's not because I've been working with him. Do you know them way down? I'm gonna be. I'll tell you straight. The work's over, blood. You get me, yeah? For the fact that you're six foot nine, you've got that weight. You know what I mean? The man looks like Value Web, but he moves like Floyd Mayweather, fam. Do you know what I mean? Like his defense is crazy. Do you understand? Like, for me, like, it's just the size. The size and the movement. Like, I can't see anyone beating him. Like, obviously, if he continues, he'll lose, innit? Because he'll only get worse as a fighter, innit? Yeah, but right now, like, when he's prime, prime Sun Fury, honestly, I just can't see man beating him. You know them way death, fam? Like, what do you think, Rex? His wife come out and said that if the AJ fight became available, yeah. she doesn't think she'll be able to stop him from taking it. Okay. So I believe that's the only fight that he'll take, innit? Yeah, just you to beat him, saying? like, just to say it. But, that, but that's what I mean. AJ. Yeah, well, I want to see that fight, innit? But it's not going to mm. happen, probably. I want to see that fight. That because, AJ that came Because the Usyk. one thing I know about boxing, yeah, mm. that the, the, the AJ that we saw against Usyk, the first round, we'll never see that AJ again anyway. Not, because he, AJ's done this thing, like, in his last few fights where he's tried to box, innit? Like, yeah, he tried to be more technical. Yeah, he's, he's not a technical fighter, yeah. bro. Like, fuck that. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's he's te- he's fundamentally sound, but that's it. Like, mm. he's not mad technical. He's not slick. Do you know what I mean? When he got his nose bust by Povetkin, it's because he was dropping the arm and trying mm. to be slick and that. Bro, that's not who he is, bro. Like, when AJ mm. just fights and does the roadman swingers thing, like the fight, how we fought Dylan the first mm. time, that's the AJ we want to see, innit? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? And, like, that's... I wouldn't mind seeing that against Fury, bro. Because when, because when man talk about levels and stuff like that with like AJ and Dylan White, sometimes boxing's not about levels. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's just about contrasting styles, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And I just feel like the two styles would gel together for a good fight, mm-hmm. just like the Dylan White style and Fury gel together for a very good fight for six rounds. But Dylan was just too did you, small. Did you watch the highlights? Yeah, I watched it back Because again. you see, when we was watching it in the stadium, and tell me if you agree, because mm. obviously I was like, oh, yeah, Dylan's round, Dylan's round. But mm. when I watched the highlights, bruv, that first round, what was it the second round I said was Dylan's round? Like, I didn't give it to him. Like, no, I gave Dylan the first and the third. I yeah, didn't the give first. Him, I didn't give him the yeah, second. When I, I watched gave it, Tyson no, the second. When I watched the first round again, like, yeah, I think it was the first round. Mm. It was the first round. When I actually watched it back, yeah, I don't know, blood. It, for me, I gave that to Tyson. Nah, you know what it is, yeah? Why I don't like these highlights anyway? They'll show... No, sorry, not the highlights. With I, the it highlights, was a full fight, I, I always, I always watch the full fight. fight. But with no, highlights, but, they always you know, show. Was in the stadium. Like, yeah, they really always see. show certain things, and I don't like that in it. The thing is, in the first round, yeah, neither of them really landed anything of merit. But Dylan landed a lot of body shots, and Tyson wasn't really throwing that much. He was kind of just trying to figure him out in the first round, didn't it? And that's what it was. Dylan was pressing the fight for like the first three rounds. Yeah, I had Dylan and to then, win one round. And then, and then the headbutt, he got his eye cut, and then you could see that. He became a bit more desperate and started swinging, and I don't know if the eye was bothering him yeah. or whatever. But like, it was one of them ones where he was too small. Like, even from the weigh-in, he was. when I saw them standing, yeah, and Fury was like taking a piss, tiptoeing over him. Yeah. Like, the size was too much, yep. so he was giving up so much reach in it. Josh mm-hmm. was a lot taller than um, mm-hmm. Dylan White. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? So straight away, the height helps That's because what I'm it, he couldn't hit him because it means because it means you can get the jab off and you can hit someone in it. Dylan had to just keep throwing shots to the body because he was too small. Mm-hmm. So even though Fury beats Joshua, yeah, like and he should beat Joshua, like the size because of the size. That's why Wilder was able to even hit Fury. Blood. Well, this is what I'm saying because Wilder's taller mm-hmm. and Wilder is half the size of AJ. Mm-hmm. So if Wilder can land on Fury, AJ can land. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Because AJ's a better boxer than Deontay Wilder. Deontay AJ can definitely land But that's on what Fury. I'm saying. I'm and saying and this is what Fury. makes the fight interesting because he will land shots and he hits hard, bro. I'm, I feel so, cheated, you know. You see this... So, this, this, this you get me, like, Dil- uh, well, actually, at least Dylan White didn't even, because Dylan weren't running off his mouth and that before. Nah, the because they, they like know that. each other, they're friends, innit? There's respect but there. But all of the, but all, all before the fight was announced, yeah, Dylan, the amount of trash Dylan used to talk about Tyson Fury saying he's going to break him up. But he had like, to oh, do Wilder. that to get the fight. Because you know, like, it was like, Wilder, Wilder's soft, blah, 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 I'm down and dirty, I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to be, and he did try and do it, mm. but it just weren't working. It wasn't working. It wasn't working. The elbows, the, you get yeah, me, Yeah, Fury fam. too awkward. Do you know what I mean? And he's too tall, isn't it? And that's why if Tyson Fury is an anomaly in the sport of boxing right now, just like Usain Bolt mm. in running, like six foot five man's not supposed to be 
um, mm. world champion, 100 metres, because mechanically he's not supposed to be able to sprint that fast. They said that his technique wasn't right, but like he's, he starts slow and all that, but he's just a freak, innit? Fury ran and Tyson, to the ring, one of the greatest entrances yeah. ever. And Tyson Fury's yeah. just a freak, bro. That's just what he is like. He's nearly seven foot. And he's agile, do you know what I'm saying? And he's just awkward. Like there's, he just causes too many problems for people, and that's what it is. That's why I think Usain Bolt's the closest thing. Like these men mm. are elite, and when you look at them, they're not supposed to be. Do you know mm. what I mean? So it's one of them ones where, like, this generation, like, there's no one that can really beat Tyson Fury. No, like, I'm telling you. Do you know what I mean? The only person that's technically would... good enough to beat him is Usyk, but he's too small. He's way too small. You know, like that. But he's too Usyk small. Usyk ain't got a chance, blood. Usyk is the only one Usyk technically on the level that could beat him. Usyk's chance. probably the best technical boxer, best technical boxer in the heavyweight division for me. Usyk would need to but Shazam. But he's too small. You'd need to Shazam, blood. Shazam! Mm, yeah. You'd need to get bigger, bruv, for him to even... Like, I don't even want to mm. see that fight. Yeah, yeah and Usyk's fun. a South poor as well, so... But he's too small, so it don't yeah. matter. Like, a good big man beats a good small man, innit? That's what I'm saying. All Because Tyson Fury's got the stamina as well, blood. So it's not even like, oh, yeah, he'll gas out and then mm. Usyk can get in there. Because once he gets in there, Tyson Fury knows what to do when you get in close to him. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? But, yeah, no, it was a glorious fight. Obviously, we went, ran to Roni, Escobar, and I was looking dapper, fam. You know, them way there, man brought out the suit and shades, blood. Yeah, bruv, that's boxing. I don't know, it's an unwritten rule at like boxing that you have to dress up. I don't know why, but it's always it? been like well, that, yeah. Boy. Like, you saw all the women wearing I heels went, and all I, of that so shit. I, but the reason why I wore what I wore is because I've been to the Joshua uh, the Joshua Usyk fight. Yeah. I'm, wearing my, I'm wearing my clothes, bruv, my drip, fam. I'm not wearing no suit. You see me wear suits when I go yeah, to Yeah, I had jeans on. But you like, I had mean? jeans and Jordans I on. I didn't have a suit. Because I knew man's jaws were going to be Yeah, swinging, no, no, I, I know, I know. I, no. had to be swinging. I still had so trainers said, and jeans on, good. but I just put on a blazer. You know, I like knew, that. And brother, you saw, you even saw the man dropping off. You saw how it was. Yeah, there, man, bro. man, I know what Do these you know men what are mean, on. Yeah, 100%. Man had to make sure we man kept the distance a certain time because I knew it was just going to be a mad thing. But it was good, man. It was good. It's been a fantastic week, blood. You get me? But yeah, this is our part of the show when we give our Oozing Sorcery Award. And our while of the week, Oozing Sorcery Award goes to Gabrielle J. Zeus. You know yeah, them way right there. Bro. He'll be sharing it with Mike Tyson, fam. I'm telling you, bruv. Get me him, mm. Mike Tyson. Tyson Fury, blood. You get me? Free. All mm. three of them, they can share it, man. What a week it's been. And our while out of the week. Bruno Fernandez, bro. Yeah. I hate this Bruno guy, Bruno Fernandez. Bro. Bruv, there's just nothing to like Jorginho. about him. Jorginho. Dead baller, bro. Do you get know me what I'm them saying? skip penalties. Bruv, dead baller. Got the arrogance of a player that he... That, that actually is good and one stuff and he ain't won nothing in his career, bruv. Everything just annoys me. Even his face, bruv. He's ugly as well, bruv. Mm. I swear, everything about this bread just this makes guy, me mad. Piss, bruv, bro. he's ugly, fam. You That's the what? closest thing Man United are getting to a trophy, blood, is Bruno's ears, blood. I'm telling you, he looks like the Champions League trophy, blood. We, yeah, I've, we've literally done it, Rance, blood. I'm telling you, yeah, we've mm. smashed a band sports who's record, blood. What's the record? Huh? What's the we've record? We've got through a whole episode, don't say it, but we've got through a whole episode without mentioning... Oh, but I did mention him. I said that he played well. I said that it was one of his better games. Yeah, but yeah, well, in in a bad light, I mean, blood. You know oh, what I right. mean? There, nah, bro. This he's, man, he's, yeah, he's had a tough week. This so. man, yeah, obviously, yeah. Let's get on to that because we didn't film a podcast. Uh, I think we ran up yeah. news after yeah, we filmed after it. After we filmed it, obviously, thoughts and prayers go to Ronaldo, fam. And you get me his performance in that game, bro. Obviously, I know he got the goal in that, but his general performance, bro, I think it was only maybe him and one other player that literally played well and then the rest of the team was A shit. couple, man. That's one saying? of his best performances like, of the season and me, that, that tells you the level, yeah, of mentality that this guy has and that's why when it comes to football, yeah, and mentality, he's a monster. I'll never take I that beg. away from him. Like, his, his discipline, his mentality, this guy is the elite of the elite when it comes to this, in it. Whatever problems I have with man's technical ability or whatever... That's neither here nor there. But when it comes to mentality, he's he's on a level of his own, innit? And he showed that, bruv. He turned up, mm. played well. Do you know what I mean? Like, Ralph said that he didn't feel like he wanted to take the penalty, which is fine. He mm. already done enough for the team. He scored the goal and he played well, innit? Mm. So if he didn't want to take the pen, it's not on him, innit? You know them ones there. But, bro, like, his mentality is different. So, mm. yeah, you know I mean, what happened to man was unfortunate, bro. No, no one wants to hear that. And for him to come out and play at that level, 100%. different, innit? Different nah, levels, man. There's levels, bruv. I'm telling you, bruv. Obviously, you get me. Football's football, bruv. And personal life and life's more. Life's bet is way over more anything. important than football, bruv. Life over everything. Do you know what I'm saying? So no matter what a player does on the pitch, anything that happens off the pitch, always, you get me, is more for me. You get me, like their life. As long as their safety, family, and all of them things are more important. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And the fact that he came back and the performances that he's put in, bruv. He's just, but but you already know how I feel about him, innit? Mm. I, Ronaldo's always been different stuff to me, and I'll take Ronaldo in a heartbeat. Yeah, I joke around when he mm. has terrible games and that, but he's a game changer, innit? Like certain 
man are just game changers in football and he'll always be a game changer. Yeah, I'm talking of safety. What about the bomb at Harry Maguire's house, blood? We, yeah, that we that happened we after we that. Did we talk bro, about we that? Mentioned, I mentioned that to you last week, blood. Don't you remember? But we just didn't say nothing on it. Okay. I was said it, it to you last week. Yeah, I said we, didn't mention it on the, we didn't mention it on the show, though. No, I did. I mentioned it. Okay. I mentioned it last week on the show, blood. But okay. you didn't say I nothing. I didn't know if it happened already. Oh, yeah, I didn't know. You didn't know about it. I didn't know about it. I was like, bro, you had a bomb scare in his yard in that fam, man. So, yeah, I did. I mentioned it last week at the show. And I was like, how come you didn't elaborate? I was shocked. Blood. Okay, so he's gonna yeah, book it, yeah. But he did that already, or that's all. Yeah, bro. That, that it already, must have been the Riddler blood, you know, yeah, the ones there. I'm the telling piece. you. The boy, this guy, blood. <laughs> the C4 blood. Blood. This guy, blood. I blew up the whole back cave and that blood. Must have, woo. Jim Carrey blood. Woo. <laughs> I swear no. But yeah, nah, man. Um, shout out everyone that, um, to watch the end of the podcast. What should they type in? Um, what should they type in the comments, blood? You know oh, what I mean? Oh, bro. What would I? What would the highlights of today's episode, bruv? Um, boy, I don't even know, blood. I don't know, bruv. I mm. really don't know, bruv. But it's episode thirty-seven, so type in CR thirty-seven in the comments, yeah, blood. You know not, them, blood. Say no more, CR you know thirty-seven, like episode thirty-seven. If you got to the end of the road, type in CR thirty-seven. You know them way there. Make sure you smash a like on the podcast. Love for tuning in every week and we'll be back next week.